I vote to hold the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Renato C. Corona, guilty as charged under Article Roman Ro Numeral 2, Paragraph 2.3, and that his deliberate act of excluding substantial assets from his sworn statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth constitutes, in my humble view, as a member of this court, a culpable violation of the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you. Mr. President, may we have the summary of the votes? On Article 2, on Article 2, 20 senators find the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Renato C. Corona, guilty as charged. And three senators not guilty. With at least two-thirds of all the members of the Senate having pronounced the respondent guilty, the chair pursuant to Rule 21 of the Rules of Procedure on Impeachment Trials directs judgment to be, rent, to be entered in accordance with the judgment of the Senate as follows. The Senate, comma, sitting as an impeachment court, comma, having tried Renato C. Corona, comma, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, comma, upon three articles of impeachment charged against him by the House of Representatives, comma, by a guilty vote of 20 senators, representing at least two-thirds of all the members of the Senate, comma, has found him guilty of the charge under Article Roman number two, Roman numeral two, of the said articles of impeachment. Now, therefore, <coughs> be it adjudged, comma, that Renato C. Corona B, comma, and is hereby convicted of the charge against him in Article Roman numeral 2 of the Articles of Impeachment so ordered. The Secretary, as Clerk of the Impeachment Court, is directed to provide a certified copy of the judgment to the respondent and his counsel, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Supreme Court and Bank, the Judicial and Bar Council, and the President of the Republic <coughs> of the Philippines. So ordered. Majority floor leader. Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President, in view of the judgment, against the respondent. I move that the vote on Articles 3 and 7 be dispensed with. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the chair hears none. Now the chair hears none. The motion is approved. Mr. President, I move that the presiding officer be authorized to approve to approve the journal of today's proceedings. Is there any obje objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Mr. President. The Majority Floor Leader. I move that the Senate authorize the printing and distribution of copies of the record and journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court 
under the direction of the um, Secretary of the Senate. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Majority floor leader. Mr. President, may we ask the Sergeant at Arms to uh, make an announcement? The Sergeant at Arms is directed to make the announcement. Please all rise. All persons are commanded to remain in their places until the Senate President and the Senators have left the session hall. Mr. President. Majority floor leader. Thank you, Mr. President. The impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato C. Corona having been concluded and judgment rendered by the Senate accordingly, I move that we terminate case number 0022011 and that the Senate sitting as an impeachment court adjourn sine die. Is there any objection? Chair, here's none. Mr. President. Yes. Before the adjournment. Yes. Senator Angara wishes to. The gentleman from Aurora is recognized. I, I, I withdraw the request, Mr. President. All right. I continue with the motion. I call for the previous question. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The Senate, having fulfilled its duty under the Constitution to try and decide. This impeachment case, case number 002-2011 against the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Renato C. Corona, is hereby terminated and the Senate sitting as an impeachment court adjourned sine die. All right, and there you have it, uh, a trial that lasted for 44 hearing days, but actually began on January 16, 2012. Uh, finally, its conclusion, the senator judges voting 20 to 3 to mm. convict Chief Justice Renato Corona and to remove him from office. In the meantime, we're still waiting uh, for Malacanang to release its statement on the uh, conviction handed down by the Senate Impeachment Tribunal and Chief Justice Corona. Our uh, justice correspondent, Ina Reformina, is on the line, uh, joining us uh, from the medical city where the Chief Justice is still confined. Uh, Ina, uh, can you uh, give us uh, an idea, what is the reaction you think uh, from uh, the friends and relatives of the Chief Justice and the Chief Justice himself? Antoni, the Chief Justice, was not allowed to view today's proceedings at the impeachment court. He was advised to rest, and he is, in fact, resting in his room here at the Medical City. So he did not um, in any way um, witness for himself the, the reading of the votes and, and of course, the, the decisions behind the votes of the senator judges. But his family um, viewed the proceedings as well as his very close friends. Some members of his staff are in the medical city to be able to join the family um, today, of course, in the reading of the verdict on the Chief Justice. We don't have yet any official word as to uh, any statement coming from the camp of the Chief Justice, but um, I learned that um, this uh, around noontime, his entire family, while he was sleeping, was praying the rosary. And you know what, Tony, his grandchildren and his nine-year-old um, grandchildren, Franco, who he mentioned in the impeachment court, and also um, Franco's younger sister, led the reading of the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary. So it's been a day of prayer for, for most of the family and the supporters of the Chief Justice. Um, well, the reason why he was not allowed to view today's proceedings the VX television set is there trying to avoid um, any harmful stressors at this point, especially that he is um, still undergoing a series of tests and still under strict observation from his doctors. I learned that um, some 10 minutes ago, his doctor was um, proceeding to his room, um, Dr. Almahara, that is his cardiologist, to perhaps check on him, but I am not aware if she was able to 
to examine the chief justice because the last I heard was that he was sleeping. So um, to today, I, they're still calm. Um, there's no negative reaction so far. There were moments when I was um, talking to the family um, today. No tears, in fact, um, Tony. I've seen some members of his staff every now and then in the past five months, you know, shed some tears. But today they said that they were going to be strong for him. But as to any official reaction, we don't know. We don't know if there will be any written statement, perhaps, through the uh, the corporate communications office or the hospital, or either through the public information office or the Supreme Court. The last thing that we've heard is that the family and members of his staff watched the proceedings via television, but the chief justice was not allowed to do so. Tony? All right. Thank you very much, Ina Reformina. Now we have on the line with us uh, Judge Antonio Eugenio. He's the president of the Philippine Judges Association. Sir, what's your reaction and what do you think uh, will be the effect? Correction, please. Uh, uh, I'm no longer president of the Philippine Judges Association. All I right. formerly uh, president of the Philippine Judges Association. I'm also no longer a judge. I'm now the deputy co one of the two deputy court administrators of the Supreme Court uh, since my appointment last uh, February. All right, sir. All right. Now, what's your reaction? Were you convinced with how the senator judges rendered their verdict? Well, uh, as part of the institution, uh, I consider it as a sad day for the judiciary. But uh, the Constitution is alive, vibrant and working, and the constitutional process of impeachment works, and our, it can only be rewarding for our people and for democracy. Why do you the consider it? Impeachment, uh, flawed though it may have been. From day one, the Chief Justice already stated that he's submitting himself to the jurisdiction of the impeachment court and shall abide by its decision. Why do you consider it a sad day for the judiciary, given the senator judges had enumerated and detailed the reasons why they rendered a conviction? It is always a sad day for any member of an institution, when the head of that institution is removed or ousted. On that context, I consider it a sad day. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Judge Antonio Eugenio from the Philippine Judges Association. We appreciate your views and your time, sir. All right, let's go over to uh, the Senate uh, very quickly uh, with LJ and Adele, who's joined by one of the Senator judges. So, Adele and LJ, go ahead. Thanks, guys. We are joined by Senator Ralph Recto, one of those who voted uh, for conviction uh, no, to find uh, the Chief Justice guilty of the uh, charges. Um, you've already on said your... Two. On Article 2. You've already said your piece and you've heard all the, all the mm -hmm. uh, explanation of both. So just give us a sense of what was inside the session hall and how, session hall and how the senator judges uh, uh, appreciated the, the proceedings. Were you even nervous about the whole thing? Not really, not really. We had, what, 43 or 44 days of the impeachment. Now, what was difficult is to express what, has, what happened in two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's very difficult to do, right? Uh, and that's why I suppose the Senate President said earlier that, okay, we would not limit it to two or four minutes. Mm -hmm. so you can be a, 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 have a more lengthy explanation of the vote. But mm -hmm. Of course, fully knowing well that he would do, explain the entire process. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that uh, the Senate President did that. Mm -hmm. Did you expect the 20 uh, conviction, three acquittal? I expected it. Mm -hmm. I expected it. Having said that, did you discuss among yourselves? I mean, not did the really. senator say that, you know, no, I'm voting? No, not really, not uh, really. But uh, yes, I did my own head count. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. uh, based on certain questions asked, based on some body language, you mm -hmm. have more or less an idea. Just as many of your guests had mm -hmm. some ideas as well, right? Mm -hmm. but, but many people, I suppose, did not expect it to be 23. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Did you, some people called it a little uh, lower, no? Yung uh, number ng uh, guilty votes. Mm -hmm. But uh, what do you think uh, pushed it to 20? Uh, the appreciation of the evidence, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it can't be more than that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that... Maliwanag eh. Mm -hmm. Maliwanag. Uh, maliwanag. You, because before, the, the thinking was baka 16-something, 17-something, 18-something. Mm -hmm. Pero yung pala, umabot ng 20. We are 20. more like-minded, so uh -huh. to speak. Apparently. And uh, But did you think that the other issues, peripheral, but took place in the court, the walkout, the, the conditional waiver, do you think somehow it
it also affected uh, the way senators appreciated it. I, 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 some senators, or maybe one or two, mentioned that. But mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, that was immaterial to me. It did not change the facts. Mm -hmm. The walkout did not change the facts of the case. No. Mm -hmm. uh, what was material as well are the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, legally acquired uh, evidence, mm -hmm. uh, the lady, I think that is all improper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the side during the explanation, my vote, I made, I made mention of that as well. And so did the Senate President. No? Mm -hmm. But then the facts remain. Mm -hmm. uh, the CJ admitted to $2.4 million, 80 million pesos. And like yeah, 20 of us, at least like-minded, mm -hmm. feel that that should have been disclosed in the South End. Mm -hmm. um, I, I noticed you mentioned, uh, Senator Recto, in your uh, speech mm -hmm. that uh, the South End is essentially a moving target. So uh, my mm -hmm. question is, was the amount, the uh, let's say the critical uh, factor mm -hmm. that made you decide to convict? Correct. If it were a smaller Correct. amount, for example, maybe $1,000, $10,000? Like this one was 50 times more yes. mm -hmm. than uh, what he declared as cash in his sal end, mm -hmm. di Okay. Uh, malaki yun. I mean, kung, kung decimal point lang yan, mm -hmm. piso lang yan, sampung piso. As I mentioned before during our interview, mm -hmm. there is a presumption of fraud when your tax return, you do not pay, or you paid less than 30% of what you should have paid, right? Mm -hmm. There is presumption of fraud. Mm -hmm. And that's why in the U.S. you have a range. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Dito, you cannot be completely exact to the decimal point, so to speak, no? But it's all very glaring, 50 times more mm -hmm. admitted in court. So that's basically it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to turn you over to Tony and Karen in the studio. Guys, do you have questions for uh, Senator Ralph Recto? All right, uh, Senator Recto, a question not um, with regards to your decision. There was an interview conducted where Justice Cuevas apparently had said uh, supposedly that he did not agree that um, the, uh, I, uh, Tony, correct me if I'm wrong, that the order to remove, mm -hmm. so to speak, the Chief Justice yes. was not immediately enforceable. Mm -hmm. Take us through the process. What's supposed to happen after this? Um, I think there are rules in the Supreme Court. Uh, I think it is executory immediately. Mm -hmm. No, it's final and executory. I don't think that it is appealable to the Supreme Court. Nevertheless, the Supreme Court must have their own procedures, no? mm -hmm. such as who replaces the Chief Justice temporarily or in an uh, OIC capacity of some sort. No? I suppose it would be the senior member of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. So w what you mean, Senator Recto, is I think um, many people are curious, will this take a few days? Will they wait for the Chief Justice to return to the Supreme Court? Will he say his goodbyes? Because this is the first time that it has happened in Philippine history. That's right. And I, I suppose we should all be patient. But like I said, there must be an internal procedure in the Supreme Court for this. Okay. But like I said earlier, it is not appealable, as the, as the Senate President has mentioned already several times. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Senator Director, uh, good evening po pala, si Tony po ito. Um, yes, good evening, Tony. Yes, um, I remember no, uh, at the very beginning of this impeachment trial, uh, I think it was the uh, lead prosecutor, Congressman Niel Tupas, who in one interview over ANC was saying that uh, this may not be the first and the last uh, impeachment no, of, uh, of a justice of the Supreme Court because they were thinking that there were other justices uh, in the Supreme Court who may have also committed some violations. So, as uh, a po ba, after uh, this four-month process as an impeachment trial, uh, should there be other justices who should be held accountable, uh, do you think? That, that is not for me to determine. That is uh, for the House to determine. Oh, oh. So okay. I think it will be difficult uh, to, to file another impeachment in the Senate between now until December. Mm. All right, this is just a candid question. Were you surprised at all at the vote of Senator Bongbong Marcos? No, not really. Uh, we, we've had personal conversations very briefly in the past. Uh, more or less, I expected that. I expected a 23. I see. So you expected 20 to 3, really. All right. That is right. All right. Senator Recto, thank you very much, sir. I'll pass thank it over you. to Linda and Adele. Well, we'd like to thank Senator Recto for joining us in our Senate studio. And hopefully, we will see you again, not at the next impeachment right. trial, but in the Senate legislative session. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Senator. You.
Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Adele and LJ, and thank you, Senator Ralph Recto. Uh, now let's uh, bring uh, into our uh, discussion uh, one of the uh, defense uh, spokespersons, uh, Attorney Rico Quicho. He joins us now on the line. Uh, Attorney Quicho, good evening po sa inyo. Hi, magandang gabi, Karen and Tony. Kamusta po kayo? Okay, well, um, uh, we're tired, but uh, at the same time, uh, also relieved that we've finally come to the conclusion of this uh, impeachment trial. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, we're very good, sir. Uh, you know, uh, this happens in any trial. And as professionals, we have to face the judgment of the Senate Impeachment Court, and uh, we respect it. Mm -hmm. The uh, lead defense counsel, I think, was quoted in an interview elsewhere uh, where he said he believed that the judgment of the impeachment court wasn't immediately executory or enforceable. Uh, is that something that you and the other defense uh, team members have discussed? No, uh, Tony, there's really no formal discussion as to what steps to be taken or what options are available to our client. Because as I always say, we are focused on the rendition of the judgment. Mm. Now, it has been very clear that the Senate Impeachment Court has spoken. Uh, the senator judges explain their votes. They base it on their conscience, and we respect that. Mm -hmm. um, of all the explanations uh, that were given by the senators who had voted to convict, uh, which one do you think, um, well, even as for yourself, uh, being a member of the defense, uh, sounded like it was the most plausible or the most well-explained uh, argument. Well, the Senate President has made it very clear in his decision. Uh, he was able to traverse through all the issues that are pertinent to the case. And uh, he has substantiated his, his decision based on what he thinks or what he feels is appropriate under the circumstances. Mm. So we, we respect that decision by the Senate President. Mm -hmm. Going into day 44 of today, um, was there any expectation, at least on your side, um, did, were you expecting the worst that the conviction, uh, that the Senator judges would actually vote to convict the Chief Justice, and by what margin? Uh, if